what's good? What's good, kid press? Hey, yo, at this point, with all the guests I've been having, I guess it's safe to say I know the whole fucking city. Anybody I sit down with is important to the culture here. Either they produce rap, doesn't matter. They have some type of, like, you know, like, pull, or they're like a fucking pioneer to what's going on in the D.C., the DMV, however you want to phrase it, because, you know, y'all be trying to separate each other, but the DMV itself. Like, my man, Kid Slow, producer, engineer, and if I'm missing anything, Slope, you know what I'm saying? You can correct me if I'm wrong. You feel so me? Good. How but, you, man? Yeah, yeah. Welcome, welcome to the podcast. Man, that was a lot. Having me, man. That was a lot because I was like, I don't know how to fuck into this nigga. <laughs> the nigga has so much shit going on. Anyway, man, thanks for coming out, man. Nah, no, thanks for having me. So, man. first question is like, what, what what do you do? I know you as a producer engineer. Mm -hmm. Am I right? Yeah, definitely. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Producer, producer first, engineer, um, musician. You know, I play drums, I play keys, play organ. Um, you know, uh, own a safe house studios. Um, you know, just be working, man. How you got started? Were you a producer first? Uh, well, I was a musician first, so I started. You know, I grew up in church, so I started in. Um, I started making. You know, what I mean, you know, I started playing drums first when I was young, when I was like three years old, playing in church. I didn't get into production honestly till i was like maybe like 21 22 you know what i'm saying so it was a i was just playing drums and playing keys and stuff up until that point i really wasn't into the production thing i got into you know the production i've said before like i had got stabbed so i couldn't really do nothing but make beats at the time so that's kind of how i got into it okay okay yeah. okay okay so i mean um what 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 made you like you know say I'm a jump from like you know playing instruments to producing or just because of the situation? Well, my was older there? brother, my my older brother, um, he's a producer, but <clears throat> excuse me, he he does uh gospel music. So shout out my brother Chris, he do gospel music. So I kind of watched him growing up. Mm -hmm. You know that's that's kind of where I got my music. You know my love for music from from my older brother, and um. You know, from there, it went from, you know, because we had started our little, our own little production company because I was making beats already a little bit. And so he kind of, like, signed me, but mm -hmm. he didn't, we, you know what I'm saying? He's my brother. I ain't really signed nothing, but, like, we had our little production company together. We were just making beats in the house all the time. And, um, yeah, that's how, you know, that's how it kind of, it started, you know? What were you making beats on back then? Same thing I'm making beats on now, Reason. I, are you for real? Yeah, I use Reason. So how long you been producing? Um, I would say I've been a producer since like 2015. Like 2015, I'll say that's how long I've been a producer. Before then, I was making beats, but I was really just trying to learn it, build my mm -hmm. craft with it. Mm -hmm. When I started actually making, like, producing songs for pe people back in, like, 2015. So, break down... I mean, I know what a producer is. Mm -hmm. I know what a beat maker is. For Two those different who things. Don't, That's why I said, like... For I'm those <laughs> who don't know, educate those who don't know what a producer is and what a beat maker is. Um, a, a beat maker just, you know, makes beats. You know, they don't really have, you know, no say-so over the beat over the song they sometimes they don't even have any any um they, they don't have any drive to even care about it. they just want to make beats and whoever do it do it right you know when you get to the being a producer side it, you don't necessarily have to make the beat to be a producer you know like it's curating the song like putting it together mm -hmm. you know even if it's in post-production after the fact you know, just, you know, even if it comes to, I, I mean, producers go different, you know, it's different ways you can be a producer. It don't necessarily have to be physically making the production. It can be, you can be considered a producer if you put the money up to put the song together, mm -hmm. you know? So it's, uh, you know, a, a producer is more hands-on okay. with the with the record. Um, a beat maker is just more so before anything else is done. They only dealing with the beat itself. So what 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 year did you start at? Um, I would you see you got stabbed, and after you got stabbed, when you started making beat. What what year was that? I got stabbed in 
2012. So yeah, 2012. I got that. Oh, if I, I'm not a um. So so. You said church, mm-hmm. and getting stabbed. Were mm-hmm. you involved in the streets, mm-hmm. or this is the wrong place, the wrong time? Nah, it wasn't no street shit at all. Nah. Well, what, what happened? A girl stabbed me. Why she stab you? You know how it be. <laughs> nah, I don't know. Nah, <laughs> you know how it be. <laughs> you know how it be, man. She ain't want to let a nigga go. I try. I th- it was really my my uh my 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 asshole ways that got me stabbed for real. Cause you know, like, and she she grabbed a knife. She tell me, yeah, I'm gonna go in the bathroom and kill myself. I said, all right, I'm gonna go outside. I'll be back. And then she ran out the bathroom with that blade. You stuck it in. <laughs> stuck it in me instead. Oh damn. <laughs> so you know it'd be like that, I guess. So you you sell your asshole ways, you know. I'm a big asshole myself. Um, it's have just you, nonchalant. Have you, have you mature? I'm very nonchalant myself. Have you mm-hmm. mature from that 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 place? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> what you mean? I mean, I feel like I feel like. I mean, I may be wrong, but I don't feel like that's immature. But it might be. But I, I just, you know, certain things is just like at a certain point, it's just like, because at that point I was done. Right. So right. like the even the fact that we were still having the conversation, it was just more so like, all right, like what you what you gonna do? Like, right. Like I'm trying to get up out of here. Like what are you? What are we doing? So I don't think that would have changed at all, even if. I was older. You know what I'm saying? So But yeah, man. That's how that's how it happened. You see you still keep in contact with Shorty? Hell no. <laughs> Y'all was living together? Yeah, but that's the thing. That day we wasn't living together no more. And when I woke up, she was in my house. Wait, how she got in your house? I don't know. You still on to this day, you don't know how she got in your house? She, I guess she had like an extra key made. Because oh, I she, took one key. She was ahead of you. She was ahead of me. Because <laughs> I took one key, but then it was another key, I guess, because she was in that motherfucker when I got up. And I'm like, oh, God. So how y'all, um, how y'all like, um, uh, like separated? She stabbed me. And that's it? Yeah. She didn't come back around? She didn't check on you nothing? Nah, she tried. She tried to come that's back what I'm around. Saying. I'm, that, that's why I asked the question. I mean, nah, it was a, she but that, by then me. it was more so like, man, my father told me after that, he said, whenever you see her run. Mm. <laughs> it was a, I, I checked out after that. Yeah, but I'm I glad you're out. here, bro. Um, so um you started producing um 2012. Mm-hmm. Um Well, you, I started making beats 2012. See, so, yeah, my bad. You started making beats 2012. I started producing. Three like, years 20, later, yeah, you started producing. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, um, that's when I started, like, uh, I was at a studio called Crooked House and, um, that's where I started engineering it. And I, that's what got me into the, I feel like I became a producer when I started engineering because it gave me an opportunity to, you know, be with artists more, Okay. you know, as an engineer. Okay. So I feel like. Um, that was my gateway to, um, you know, getting in a room with more artists. How do you get in their trust to allow you to produce for them? Because, you know, you get a rapper and they rap or you get a singer, they're singing a song. And a lot of times, well, especially back then, they will be at home writing the record and they go to the studio and they, they voice, they record a song. And in their mind, you know how it works. That's how they envision the song. And you go, you go in and you change it around. How you gain the trust from artists to do what you know, sprinkle your sauce on the, on the song back then? I feel like um. I feel like the work, the work would have to speak for itself. Um, you know, I I think that uh, and it's it's also with like with time, mm-hmm. you know, like time and reputation. Right, but that's why I ask the question. I'm like, if you say 2015, right? How you getting their trust so quick? Were you working with an artist that so you were like signing or um, you know, um, you know Honestly, I I think it was, you know, the artist that I was working with mm-hmm. during that time. Like I I feel like I'm I feel like I'm blessed enough where it's like God has always like put me in the right place at the right time, mm-hmm. especially in the in the city. 
Like, I always end up working with whoever hot at that time, you know. Um, so it's like, um, and they, they, it just, it just happened. Like, Do you they, recall who you was working with back then? During that time, it uh-huh. was AB Icy, like Icy Sosa. Um, I was working with uh, Money Montana. That rings a bell. Iceberg Low. You can go by Lulu P. I was working with um. I had did a I had did a record with Shy had came to the studio once. Um, it was a lot of people like during that time. Like the whole South Side was lit for real. So where where exactly are you from in the area? Well, I was born I was born in Columbia Hospital for Women, in Washington D.C. That hospital gone now though. Um, but I don't live everywhere. That's why I know so many people. So how you feel about the um the separation as far as uh, someone saying I'm from the Maryland, I'm from DC, even Baltimore saying we're not part of Maryland, we're part of Baltimore, Virginia <laughs> right. the same way. How you feel about as a person who moves around? So you know, like like you said, you're pretty much from here as far as the DMV, right? Yeah. How you, what's your take on someone saying, Nah, bro, I'm not from Maryland, I'm from DC. I mean, it's a, it's a, I feel like it's a, you know, you just love your culture. So, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to be, you don't want to be uh, labeled as being from somewhere that you're not. So I get it at the same time, but, you know, I feel like it's a lot of division mm-hmm. in it, unnecessary division in it because of, you know, being from certain places. But. What I will say is that, like, I, it's a lot of people that are from, like, Maryland, though, that get respect from D.C. people and shit like that. Like, it really all depends on you, though, because I ain't going to lie, though. Like, all right, there are some, like, Maryland, Virginia, even D.C. niggas. Like, certain, it, it don't matter where you're from, you, people weird. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, like, right, it's right, weirdos right, everywhere. Right, right, So right. that kind of, like, it's kind of, like, it might rub somebody off the wrong way when, like, you know, you from someplace and you know somebody over there be acting weird. You know, so I think it's more so like just a comfortability thing. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't think it's that deep though. The way people make it seem, like, cause like I said, everybody be acting weird. I don't care where you from. You, but you think there's any benefit in separating us? It's nah. It don't benefit separating us. Honestly, okay. okay, okay. It don't benefit us separating us. It hurts. I think it hurts. Yeah, it hurt us more. Okay, All definitely, right. definitely hurt us more because we so small. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like D.C., Maryland, Virginia is not 15, 20 minutes apart. Yeah, they they ain't they ain't they, they not Probably, that far. Yeah, yeah. like it, the yeah. MGM is PG County, right? And across the bridge is three minutes. Right. You go to Virginia, like right. you can be Alexandria, Alexandria right? And be in Oxon Hill in three minutes. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. But you could say you from Oxon Hill, but you don't like the niggas that live three minutes away. Right. Like, it's yeah, weird. crazy. So we started producing. I mean, started beat making. Incident happened. We saw, you know, 2015. Yeah. Safe House Studio. Yeah. Safe House came in, like, 2017. Dang. I started in, like, 2016, but, but like, I had got my first spot in, like, 2017. So I was saying I had Safe House Studios when I ain't had no building. So... <laughs> So <laughs> I had I was taking that I had the shit in the trunk. I was going from house to house. It was safe house studio. Wait a minute, hold on, 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 hold on. Yeah, I had the equipment in the wait, trunk of the car. So you used to pull up the people's house. That's and how record them. hmm That's how I built my like, you know, my rapport with a lot of people. Okay. I I think it all sort of makes more sense now. I put that groundwork in. Yeah. In real. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm talking about every day. Just hop in the car and just move around. Every day I had sessions at somebody's spot. So that drive, I mean, what was your vision back then? What was the idea? Like, yo, I got to do this for, um, you know, is it a passion because you were playing music in church and this is what you... Well, you it, wasn't even that, it wasn't even that no more. It was more so like always, always seen something bigger, like music-wise. Like I always wanted to... You know, like even even like for example, when I started engineering, mm-hmm. like I used to be hard on myself because I used to be like, man, this shit don't sound like the radio. I gotta get better. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it was more so like I had a I had a vision to to take it somewhere that you know just bigger than just my own environment where I was at the moment. So it was like, and I've always 
been very critical of myself. So 2017, 15, so when, you know, people always say, yo, we weren't listening to hip hop music or whatever. It was strictly go-go. Were you one of those individuals? It doesn't sound like it because you had a vision beyond. Nah, go-go to, I, so I used to play in, I played in a couple go-go bands like back in the day. But it was like, go-go to me, I mean, don't get me wrong, like it was a cool vibe. But after a while, like playing it, mm-hmm. like being in the bands, I got tired of it. What you got tired of? The, the sound or just like just the the um the, the culture of it? Because you know niggas not gonna the go culture, with a fight. Not the culture. It was more so. It was more so. Where is it going? Okay. You know. So like, you so you, you don't think. But I was doing a go go before I ever produced. Okay. So, question: Why you think go go is not nation? Why? Honestly, I can't answer that question. I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I could easily say everybody don't like it, you know, but it's a lot of people everywhere that do like, you know, I think I I I think more so it's because of the the the, the change in the sound of go go. What you mean? Because go go ain't what it used to be. You know, it's not the same, you know, you have it. It it evolved over time. You right, know what I'm right, saying? right, right, right. So like everybody like Chuck Brown was everywhere. So you think it lost go go lost go go. It lost go go instrumentation. Right. The music, like it became more But that could be good though, Slopes. It's like it, it cause, can be. Cause when when you say that, I'm thinking like Bronx hip hop to, you know, New York hip hop. No, Bronx rap to New York hip hop. Mm-hmm. To West Coast gangster, to Houston chop, chop and screw, to South booty shaking music, and now the Chicago drill music is still a hip hop. Yeah, it just evolved. So, yeah, it so it could be it could be good. That could have been good for um Go Go. And truth be told, a lot of folks, as you know, they copy Go Go across the nation, mm-hmm. but Go Go don't get the credit that Go Go deserve. Yeah, like a lot of bouncing music come from Go Go. I know you can hear you can hear yeah. it, right? So why you think? Why you think? I don't know. Like you said, you don't know. I don't, I don't, I I don't know either. I don't really know. Like, I feel like... You think we've been robbed? I feel like music is robbed from people all the time. Like, people take bits of stuff. Like, it's all recycled. Do, yeah, it's all recycled. Yeah, like, it's sure, not sure, meant sure. to be, just, be one for, for you, right. one, just for you. Like, just right. for one person. Like, if it's hot, like, people going to use it. So, I'm going to throw a monkey into the conversation off camera. You see, like, you see... uh. You see the the what's that? The jury, like the, the Baltimore sound. The dance, the, the hype, the hype feel like kinda like baby hype, yeah. Yeah, but you know that's Philly's young niggas sound now. Yeah, no, 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 no. You're you know right. what I'm saying? Jersey. Like, it's also and Jersey. Jersey, yes. That yes. Jersey club music, but yes. Philly artists, like the youngins, like the way New York got drilled, Philly youngins, they got that now. That's their oh, sound. Word? Yeah, the Uzi jump. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Too you, rare. Lay banks. Right. Like that's oh, they sound. Shit. You know what's funny? I never, I, I actually didn't realize that. But you're right. Yeah, I just did a, I did a record. Um, I did a record. Uh, shout out to Jumbo. Like Jumbo, he be producing. He make a lot of those. Like he produced for Too Rare and stuff like that. Like he make a lot of those, those uh, those dancey club records. Like for for Philly artists or whatever. But like that's they sound now. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just like it's not drill with them. It's that that club mix. So off camera, we, you and I was talking, and we we're talking about how you know the DMV don't have a sound. Every time we find a sound, we go to the next thing, and the next thing is copying someone else, right? Am I saying it right? Right. Yeah. So basically, so like we get we we've had like I feel like it was a time when you oh, know hmm? yeah for sure. I feel like it was a time where, you know, we had a sound built mm-hmm. with, like, just even producers. Like, mm-hmm. you know, you had clip. If you had, if you, if you heard a, uh, if you heard a clip beat, you knew it was his jump. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Then you had, you know, the young and Chicho. Chicho changed it. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it's like, we've had our waves, but it's like, it's, it's past that, though. Like, we was talking, like, is you gotta you gotta 
we the easiest part is making a song. Right. You know what I'm saying? So once you get to the point where you done made the song, like how are we gonna get it out of here? Right. And I think that's the problem why we ain't had a sound that just oh, so, sticks. So, so okay, so you're saying we got a sound to us, it sounds good. People gravitate to it, but it goes out and then no success comes from the work. From the sound. Right. From the and work then, that you so, put so, it in the studio. So they they artists start to believe that, oh, it's not working. But in in, in in reality... I don't even think that they don't think it doesn't work. I think that it's just... Them. It's, it's so... you Basically, you bullshit on marketing it for so long, mm -hmm. it dies. Like, you know what I'm so, saying? So, define... Because music evolves, like I said. So when you got to wait, it always going to change. Like DJ Mustard, he don't make them same beats he's making from YG. You know what I'm saying? It always true. evolves. It always right, changes. Right, 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 right. So at a certain point, you know, if you ain't doing what it takes to get it, it's gonna be right. something new, something right, right, next. Right, 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 right. You know, right. So, so you said bullshit on marketing. Um, for those who may not understand exactly what you're saying, what do you mean by bullshitting on marketing? Okay, so like I'm just talk from you know experience and in our city, we got a lot of artists that you know they go in the studio, you make the song. Record the song, you, you pay for your studio time. That is literally the easiest part. That is only the beginning mm -hmm. of a record. Right. You know what I'm saying? Once you've done that is when everybody gets lost. No one knows what to do like this. It's it's just a thing where, oh, this hot. Let's shoot a video. Or oh, they pull up, the cameraman pull up like two hours. Right, that's one, cool, one too. Location. That's a easy, that's easy, too. Right, right, right. right you know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. They That's... That's simple stuff too, you know. That's a that's, you know, that's a service that somebody provide. Like that's that's easy to get done. Easy for you to record a song to get it to sound good, mm -hmm. and it's easy to get you a good cameraman. Mm -hmm. You know how many people getting big budget videos that you never see. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because they think that all the work comes in just doing that. You know what I'm saying? Getting the song done and shooting the video and putting it out. You think an ego involved? The thing that is shit, and they like for it, us, it is a hundred percent ego. It, okay, you know what I'm saying? Because I, it's been situations where, like, I don't hear artists say, like, "Man, I ain't doing that." Like, I ain't gotta do that. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I'm, just, I'm me. Like, yeah, the yeah, niggas yeah. gonna love this shit. Right. Who? Who gonna hear it? Right. The niggas around your way. Who don't even know? They don't music. go nowhere. Right. right like right, the right. niggas around your way don't go nowhere. Right. They ain't telling nobody but a, a couple bitches that come around the way. It's still a neighborhood. You don't. They don't you, go you nowhere. So you lit in your neighborhood. Right. But what we doing this for? To be lit in the neighborhood. Right. We right. trying to get rich. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that's the difference. That's really like we saying. That's really the difference. But it's not. It's not the artist's fault. It kind of is, and it's kind of not. We don't have really the executives here. You know that's in a in the forefront that people, that people, nah, I ain't even going to say that. Right, because They I'm are saying, here, but they the don't, artists don't appreciate, they don't the appreciate ego, it. Egotistically, the artists That's don't accept. Said, yeah, man. Because they think that they, they think they it. Right. Like, it's me. You know what I'm saying? When in reality, like, that one person right there that be doing the marketing and stuff, like, that's really your ticket. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's really your ticket. Instead of bullshitting on paying whatever, pay them. Yeah. That's who you pay. Pay that pay that marketing person or even if it's even if and I honestly, I feel like a lot of people don't know their power though. Mm. That come with a lot that come with it too. Like a lot of like I, I had to learn that. Like I didn't I never realized like the influence I had on people or like me saying something could make somebody like listen to me. Like sometimes I'd be quiet, I don't say nothing. Like I had to learn to stop doing that. You know what I'm saying, but I wouldn't say a word when I. But I had the information to give for somebody to know something. Why you felt that way? Because is it you or you because you know you know the, the rebuttal? Niggas of... don't listen. Okay, and so it's not, like it's not one individual. You talking like culturally? Yeah, that's... culturally they don't listen. So it's like, do I say it? Because it's like it got to a point where I was questioning myself. Like, damn, am I wrong? Are they even doing it? Because it's like nobody doing it. Nobody doing what they supposed to do. Like it get like like niggas that get signed. Like we you know what I'm saying? You gotta think about it. Like it's a lot of niggas that get signed from me. People don't know that. They get signed. But after they get signed, what happened? Where they what what happens after that? Niggas get signed, they put out a project, and then they back to square one. 
You're right. It's a lot because of people. Because they don't take that money and do what they supposed to do with it. They supposed to take that money and put that shit back into they... It's like right. a business. You are a business. When you getting money, you invest back into your business. When you get your first check, when you doing something, you're supposed to put that first check back into your business. Right. That's the same thing with an artist. You're supposed to put that shit back into your business. But they do it the wrong way. Nigga go get a go get car, go Cars, get a chain. Stun a little bit. Nah, go go females. pay. First of all, nigga, you should have paid a lawyer when you signed your signed your contract. That was the first thing. But you egotistically, done. I don't need him for what? Why the hell I'm giving them fifteen percent? They giving me, they giving, they about to give me three hundred thousand. I'm straight. I'm like, straight. Nah, nigga, you owe them three hundred. Now you can't even make a it's song a loan. right away. It's like getting a loan from the bank, real shit. But what you're saying, bro, that's deep. That's deep. If you around here, you don't like pay attention. You stop and think about it. It's a lot of artists you know that had deals. Had, keyword had deals that no longer have a deal. And can can cannot get a new deal. They go get a new one. I'm gonna tell you why though, because they messed up because they they allowed the label to now control their analytics. Like they can see it now. Mm. So like now they see your revenue, what you getting back from the music. So now nigga don't want to sign you again. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right, Somebody right. give you three hundred thousand and you only make fifty thousand off of music. Why would they want to sign? Why would they want to give you it's another bad, bad investment? You know what I'm saying? But if your ass, if you was putting if you put something out and you was getting crazy numbers and you didn't sign and you did it again, then they got to give you that bag. Like, right, you stick them up. Yeah, they got to give you that bag. And then you can do whatever you want after that. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? But, you know. You think we're still in that space when it comes to, like, artistry? Now, there's a new wave. Like, we had it's many artists we had that, like, you know, like, um, like you said, got signed and they're no longer signed. They got dropped or whatever the case may be. And we have a we have a new wave of young niggas right now. How you feel about the new niggas, the new young niggas? But that's always versus... that's always gonna be the case. Exactly. You know, it's, I know it's always gonna be the in, case. In, in like, bro, I've been. Music. I feel like for me, I kind of been like, I kind of been in a good place for for years. Like, I stay consistent. I work with the right people. Like, you know, like people know, like slow produce slow. You know what I'm saying? People know that about me. So for like, those I don't take breaks on it, like this is what I do. So but, but, then not to cut you, um, we here having this deep conversation. For those who who don't know who Slos is, right? Um, especially in the DMV. Name, give me like five of the top artists you work with from this area. I know you work with artists outside of the area. From this area? Yes. Give me give me five top artists so people know, like, yo, you know, um, the caliber of people, you know, who you have been working with. Top five yeah, from give me here. To you, well, I've been in. Let, let, I've been in. Hold, oh, give me a second before I, before I say this. Like before you before you say what you about to say, this is not the top five artists from the DMV. This is your, your in your opinion. Oh, well, my top five. Your top five that you have worked with. My top five. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm gonna say. All right, my top five. Uh, poetic rock star makes dope music. Mm-hmm. Um, Trail makes dope music. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. I love making music with from the top five. Your top five, not our top see, five, but your top th- five. I'm gonna tell you this though. I'm not gonna name them all, and I'm gonna tell you why. Because okay. my. A lot of artists that I love working with don't make music no more. They quit. Can you name them? Who? Like who? You don't want to name them? Mm-mm. I want you to name them. You know why I want you I want them to see this? And they hopefully, know, though. hopefully that's true, but I want I want to see. I want... That's why, like, that's why like I told my I told my man this today. I said, that's why I charge all my friends. I agree with you 100 percent I charge all regular, my friends. Charge because... a regular price, and they should tip you after that. I charge all my friends because most of the, most of the niggas quit. You waste your fucking time. You know what I'm saying? So imagine if I wait, I went two years. It's my dog, and we we in the studio. You know right, what I'm saying? Every right. day I'm doing this f- for free. Right. And then you tell me I ain't feeling this no more. Right. I'm gonna want to fight you. Facts. Like like no, what? No 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 no. Facts. Like facts. we doing this. We trying to get rich. I really believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Like and right. then you say, but it it really comes from like. 
I feel like, like I said, it's an ego thing too, mm -hmm. because some people like they just don't have it. So, some people just don't have it. Like they don't have it in them to like to be there. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I said, making the music is the easy part. So is that something that you, you as Slopes, is that something you can see? I can give you the best song I think possible. Mm -hmm. But if you don't do nothing with it, mm -hmm. it's like then, like I'm not the artist. So like I could go out here and I could do a promo run with your song, mm -hmm. but I can't perform it. Right. I can't really, you know what I'm saying? I can't do what you right. supposed to do with that record. Right. So it's like as a producer, like I even had to learn like like holding beats for artists. Like I I had artists tell me don't give a beat away. I had never heard this shit nowhere. Like never heard it. Like like they they don't put it out like but that come with they don't know how. They don't know what. So how you and move, they they afraid of them numbers. So how you move now? You do you hold beats for artists? No. Nah. I don't hold nothing for nobody. Ain't no paperwork, no money. It's, it's, it's open. If you didn't sign, if you ain't give me no producer agreement for an exclusive record, it's, it's, it's slow. That shit is it's for slow. whoever. It's, that's my jump. That's yeah, my beat. Me, yeah. That's my beat. You can have a song. You can take your vocals and rip that shit off. Like, right. you ain't. You can have your vocals. Right. But I ain't holding no beats for nobody. Like, that's, like, I, I learned that. Like, I learned that, uh, I learned that the hard way. So we've been doing this since 2000. And I and honestly, bro, like even like shout out my boy Derek Milano. He write a lot of songs. Like even being around him, like seeing the work he put in as a writer, trying to get these artists to like be passionate about the song just as much as you. Mm -hmm. Like you gotta think, like I said, that's the easy part. Getting in the studio and making the song, mm -hmm. everybody wanna do that. Like that's easy. Right. But right. then like, especially artists on a certain caliber, like you got to go through the label and make sure they ain't all like it. Make sure that, you know what I'm saying? To actually get the button push. Yeah. That shit a lot of Pulling work. Teeth, bro. And a lot of artists don't understand. Like, that's what producers, writers, like, that's what the shit we go through. Like, we got to wait on you. Why we got to wait on you, though? Right. We shouldn't have to. I'm not. I ain't right. waiting on you. Right, 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 right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Somebody going, you know what I'm saying? Somebody going. So it's like, at a certain point, you just got to. You know, and being like, you know, I learned it from like being in the studio with bigger producers. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. they ain't holding nothing. Right, you know right. What I'm saying yeah, they ain't holding nothing. You hear about the stuff like when wait for you. I saw the wait for you. Uh, um, J J Cole described was it was a yeah, like, right. Remember Bobby Smurda Jones, Jai Lil Beats. That shit was Lloyd Banks beat Facts. at first. You Facts. know what I'm saying? Facts. But what Lloyd Banks do with it? Facts. It ain't, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. So it's like... So how do you manage that? Because, you know, when you mention ego, niggas here are very egotistic. And it goes like this. Hey, Slopes, I told you to hold the beat for me. You know what I'm saying? I done spent some money with you, and you done gave the beat away. How do you, like... Spent what money, though? <laughs> recording. Safe House that's Studio. That's two different I know, things. I, that's, why, that's why I'm laughing. That's two you different things. You know I own a too. That's why I'm laughing. That's two different things. How do you... How you got to you... separate... You got to learn to separate... I had to learn to separate... How do you maintain that? Because that's crazy. You got to learn to separate the producer from the engineer and the studio owner. I got to separate them all. How, how do slows deal with a person who's ignorant to the information and the knowledge of how to separate that? You just got to be... You just got to be a man, like, say what it is, honestly. Like, certain people be, like, I, I don't really go through it as much, but certain people... In the people, beginning, where you going through? I knew you, you definitely was I mean, going people through. say it, but I ain't never been timid. You know what I'm saying? I always, always say what it is. Like, I always let people know up front, like, what it is. Like, I don't like confusion. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, yeah, like, that's the whole reason. Like, I don't even, I don't even like taking money the day of a session. Like, when you book it, send me that shit. When you when you call and you want to book a session, like that's when you pay. I don't want to talk about money when we get there. We under we know that that's understood. Right. You know what uh, I'm saying. So like that's just how I look at all aspects of it. You know what I'm saying. Know what we coming to do. You know what I'm saying. Let's handle the business. Make sure it, like people know it's business. I ain't on homie time. You facts, know what I'm saying. Like facts, that's facts. why I charge my friends. Gotcha. I ain't on no homie time. You know what I'm saying. Like and then like I said. I don't know what you're going to do later. I know I'm going to be doing music five years from now. Right. If you don't make a dollar from it and you a rapper, you still going to want to rap in five years? Right. 
So it's nah, like, what I'm supposed to do? You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, and, try to so like I, and I think that I think that certain artists are just like, they feel like if it's hot, it's supposed to make it. Like, nah. You know how many and songs where, where I you got? think we got an attitude from here? I, I don't know where that shit came from. I just think it's our, I just think it's our demeanor. Like I think it's the demeanor from here. Like I feel like it's not everybody, but it's a most it's a vast majority. Majority, yeah. Most, yeah, most. but I don't blame I, I feel like it's like a it's a thing that just ain't been taught. You know what I'm saying? Cause when I go to other cities, like they don't the they, experience is different. They, it's it, it's different because like they respect certain things differently. You know what I'm saying? Like I go to Atlanta, like the A and R, that's who you talking to, right? You know what I'm saying? Like right. you talking to the A and R, like you give, you send them beats to them A and Rs, they giving them jumps to them artists. You feel what I'm saying? Like they going in the room playing them, playing the beat packs. You know, you know, a lot of producers here still try to send them the beat the record to the artist. As a student owner, you know, I've got. To I mean, I mean, be this. And if I, you got a relationship with an artist, you don't though. No, if you don't got no relationship with the artist, you need to find who do. The manager, the A and R, who that's who, or you, even the engineer who engineer the artist is who you want to actually get you that beat to, right? Yeah, man, I, I, I try to teach teach somebody that like it's not, you know what I'm saying? You gotta really like it's it's not about it, it's it's the relationship with the person who like is pushing the button, right? You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, the artist, especially they be an artist big, in a in a in a like big you know stage. what I'm saying? Once they're in a big stage, they not picking them beats. They got time for that. They got they got an audience to that work man, for. Man, they you know damn near want the song done when they hear it. Yeah, you know true. what I'm saying? Like they want to hit a hook. Like they want to they right. want to hear themselves on that song yeah. before they even do it. Yeah, because you know being an artist, being a star is, is a job by, by a, itself. Exactly. Without even they like on the road and stuff like that. They don't got time to be trying to figure that out. And people don't know that, but you know that's that's what. It, but that's. That's what people got to, it take time to get to that point. And a lot of artists aren't really ready to put that work in to get there. Right. They trying to skip steps. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, it's artists from here tell you no to a show. You know what I'm saying? Ain't did a show. Mm -hmm. Still, and they tell you no because the show ain't worth 10000 <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But you can't bring out hey, 150 people. 150? You can't bring out 50 people. <laughs> Yo. So, uh, so... With all that being said, you know, uh, beat making, producing, owning a safe house studio, um, right now, um, with all the information, the knowledge, and experience you have, and connection you have, um, I'm sure, I'm hundred percent sure you went from beat making uh, to producing to being a CEO of Safe House Studio. I'm hundred percent sure that's not where you're stopping. So, mm -hmm. like. Where 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 we at right now? Like uh, what, what, what are you to, trying to right now? I'm trying to build the, you know what I'm saying, build a label, but at the same time it's more so like I'm not really trying to have a bunch of artists. Okay. Like for me as a producer, it's like I'm trying to find that one artist that I can just build with. And what's your ideal artist for uh for say we I'm guessing you can call Safe Records, right? Yeah, honestly it's more so like where I'm 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 really like like the street shit is cool. You know what I'm saying? But it's just so much that come with that. Especially if you, like, the label head. Like, it's a lot dealing with a nigga that's in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, me as a producer, that shit is a headache. Because it's like, like, I done, like, I done lost some artists. You know what I'm saying? Like, people I really, like, got close to. You know what I'm saying? Lost them to the streets. And it's just like, you know, it gets discouraging sometimes. You know? And, um... I just, you know, I just be wanting people to, like, just focus in on the music. music. You know what I'm saying? Like, that should say, and that's the real reason why, like, I I wanted a studio mm -hmm. because um, I feel like it's a way to get, get youngins out the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a place where, like, you know what I'm saying? Them, you know, you know them, them demon hours late at night. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you got, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, I'm helping out if I got a studio 24 hours, you know what I'm saying? Like your spot, you know what I'm saying? I got a studio open 24-7 and somebody can call, like, I'm trying to get in a studio tonight instead of them being outside. The streets, right. You know what I'm saying? So, like, that's really my my real motivation behind my studio is that's why it's called Safe House. Oh, I yeah. get it now. That all makes sense now. Yeah. Because to keep it 100 with you, I thought you was a street nigga. Nah. When I met you, 
I mean, a, I I, when I, I come you, from that, but I ain't when, that. when I met you, you had a standoff energy. I just and, like and it, just... and to me, I was like, I'm I'm kind of similar. I'm, I'm an asshole like you, so I ain't take no offense. But I knew. Yeah. I so I took that as like I got to be comfortable though, like around you to talk. You feel what I'm saying? Like, right. Right. Most of the time, just like, cause like you know what I'm saying. It's 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 crazy out here. It's auntie it out is, here. You don't really is, know what's going is, on. Is. You know what I'm saying? We, we're getting better, but it's, when you and I met, especially back then, it was worse because a bunch of ignorant people were involved in our circles, right? Yeah. So, I mean, I ain't take no offense, just for the record. But yeah, I trust sure. me, I sensed that. I knew, mm -hmm. like, and in my mind, I'm like, nah, homie, you, you good. Like, you ain't got to worry about me. You know what I'm saying? It's love. Yeah. But I can't just jump out and, and accuse you of, like, yeah. having that standoff attitude. You feel me? Yeah, it's more mm -hmm. so, bro. Like, it's just, you know, you get jaded in this shit where it's like, you know, you. It's been certain situations like, bro, I've been in studios, nigga, shootouts, all kind in of In the shit. studio? Yeah. Like, not inside, like, right outside, as soon as you walk out the door. Damn. Stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So you got to be careful about, you know, like, that's why I'm just big on safety when it comes to the studio. Like, I want my artists, anybody I'm working with, even if I don't know you, to feel comfortable, feel safe. Like, I basically, like, I set my, I set my spot up. Where it's like, if I'm new here, I feel comfortable walking in. Smart. You know what I'm saying? Smart. Like Smart. cameras, you know, just security, like just certain things, you know what I'm saying? Just a comfortability thing, because like, it's just a lot going on out here. Right. And, and, I, I, and that space is supposed to be like pure, you know what I'm saying? Like making Because you, you, yeah, you got to create, so you don't want to be, yeah. Like yeah, you, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You had the vibe together, like. You gotta create that vibe. You know what I'm right. saying? That's why I, I I really rock with what you're doing and stuff. Like, it's, it's definitely a vibe. You know what appreciate I'm saying? It, like, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Sure. Appreciate it. So, um, with what you just said, per my question, it sounds like you're saying you're not fully interested in work with too many street artists. You want a musician. Am I? Am I? Is that right? Yeah. Like I write. Like um, I'm getting more into like I like I like the street music, but like. I mean, you ain't really got to talk about certain things. Because you got to think, like, you become a different artist when you start making songs for the girls. Like, that's when you really, like, that's when you really blow. You know what I'm saying? When you can make a song for a female, mm -hmm. that's when you really blow. Because you got to think, niggas is not buying tickets to see you. True. It's the women. True. And why do niggas buy tickets to see you? Because the, the women, women there. Bring, yeah. Either way go, either they're in a relationship or they're going to they're going to see the woman. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for it, it's it's rare. Like the I feel like the only nigga dudes going to see for real where they going, like future. Like niggas came out to see future. Uh, yeah, I'm a future fan, so you know I yeah, yeah. But he make that. music for that, but he know how to like he doing it for you know what I'm saying? It's for both. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's rare. You don't really find, you know what I'm saying? And then it's a lot of like, like I said, it's an ego thing. Cause certain artists, they think that's what they're doing, but they're not. But look at Future Catalog and the work he put in over the years. Exactly. And they, they think they compare themselves to Future. They, they, you can't compare yourself to the nigga that's close. Street. You can't even fucking see you, but not bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro, like nah, this shit so, okay, crazy, so, bro. It's a so, lot of hate though. It's, I feel it's a combination. Of, yeah, it's a lot of hate. It's a lot of ego. It's a lot of. It's just a lot of negative shit. I know, man. And I try, even in, in this interview, I try to shy away from it, but it's unfortunately, that's just what it is. You know, I'm just trying to be more positive about it. But yeah, it's too much hate and negativity. It, it's, not, it's not much. It's but it like, starts here. Like, yeah. it starts with us. Like, you go on, you come in my spot, like, it ain't none of that going on. Yeah. You know Fact. what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, like, you gotcha. feel, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, Oh, yeah, we can go over there. Niggas ain't hating over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, love. It's love. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's, it, it starts with us. You know what I'm saying? And we just got to break the cycle, you know? So, but, you know, it's, it's, it's more so like, you know what I'm saying? Just people finding, like, res, like, learning to respect people, like certain people, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you, you know, respect yourself, respect me, like, you don't know how far you can go respecting the right person. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's key. Yeah. And and I think a lot of us, I mean, I'm good. I'm not trying to like, you know, like remove myself from it, but I'm I'm always me, I'm always been an open person when it comes to like love and respect, right? But I think when you mentioned earlier, like a lot of artists here got deals and um 
you know, they got drop or whatever happens, happens. I, I think what you just said is, is, is what entwined with that. There was a lot of artists who, like, you know, you know, like, um, they egotistically, like, carried a lot of motherfuckers on their way up. You, you see what I'm saying? And there was an individual... We're just talking about it you as gotta, well. You got to you gotta come back. Like, yeah. you never know who going... You know, you never know who who going who going uh pop off who, one day. Who going pop off and they going they they eventually make that song. Be in a position really to like. help give you a hand. Yeah, yeah. And at that moment, you might like you might not agree with more so like it go back to what we were talking about about the like being from Maryland, being from DC thing. You know what I'm saying? Like certain people just stand off as just with the word, not even knowing the person. You know what I'm saying? Right. The whole time that nigga from a like I know some, I know some niggas go crazy hard from Waldorf. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Where city niggas respect them crazy. You right. know what I'm saying? Shout out my boy Stats Gotti. He don't rap no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? He was a rapper. That's one of my friends who I'm glad I charged him because he don't want to be a rapper no more. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> like, like certain stuff like that. Like niggas respect them. You feel me? And no matter where you from, but it's you know I I feel like it, it's it's just low. It's just people judge books by their cover. cover. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I think we're bad with that um in the DMV era, you mm-hmm. know. Um so so you you a kid with signing a street artist to your um to your company. Um, yeah. Um but you're not you don't want to bring the street into music. You want to focus on the music. Exactly. But it sounds like what you more so interested in is more so artists who's focused on just like music strictly and out of the streets. Right? Yeah, and it's, I get it's, 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 like, it's, it's, I that? get it. I get it like I get, you know, like um now if I if I put it, I feel like it's, if I sign a street artist, though, mm-hmm. it's my responsibility to keep them out of it. Like, if you sign it, if you're going, if you're going to put your money behind an artist and you know he in the streets, do what it takes to keep them out of it. So, oh, let me, let me ask a question. This, this, this money thing, right? And uh, what you own in Safe House Studio? Because I, I think there's a mis, uh, misconception of, like, when artists get signed, they want a bag. Right, so when you're your potential artists who you know, I guess future artists, are you looking towards like giving them a bag to sign them, or you you're saying you're offering them your service? You know, I got a studio, I record, I mix, you know, I produce. I, I feel music. like it depends on what it depends on what you're willing to give me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Well, so what, what? So like you want to sign? Like I so like. You want I I always I always rather you know it be it it be a situation where we partner. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What kind of partnership though? So like, when I say we partner, like right. I give you my services, mm-hmm. and then you know you don't even gotta give me nothing right now. Like if we let's say let's say I got an artist mm-hmm. and um I believe in you, you know this and that. And, you know, it's two ways it can go. You know what I'm saying? We can go get a bag right now. I can give you a bag now. Like, we can, we can, we can so find the so money. You're open to, like, yeah, give, we, we give can find, answer. yeah, we can find, we can find you a bag right now. Mm-hmm. Or, you know what I'm saying? We can wait, we can work, and then I take a percentage when you get signed. Okay, okay. So you open, you open to both. Yeah. Okay. I feel like that's the I like I said it really all depends on it depends on the artist, you right, know what okay, I'm saying? Like okay. it really depends on the artist. Depends on the artist, depend on what you got going on, all of that, you know what I'm saying? Cuz going in it like I said it really depends. Um cuz you know, you got different types of artists. You got artists with no numbers and you got artists that already got them. Right, right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So, so are, you, are you looking at anybody right now to sign? That is signed or no, two signed? To, to sign to your to your company. Yeah, yeah. I got I'm 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 looking at this uh it's a it's a female artist. She's a singer. Okay. Um I'm I'm thinking about signing her. And um that's really much pretty much it right now as far as like signing. I'm really just like, you know, with me, I'm just looking at it from like I said, bro, I'm just so jaded right now. It's like, it's because you gotta, you first you gotta find somebody that really wanna do this. You know, like you gotta find somebody that really wanna, really wanna 
It lit, wasn't more have than you a do. Li- have a lit. Because you can't, I can't want it for you more than yeah, you want yeah, it for you yourself. Yeah, yeah, you got one more than, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got you know one more than, yeah. You got to want it, like. More than, more than slow. You got to either, yeah, you really got to want it more than me. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing. Right. Whether right. you here or not, right. I'm still going to be doing this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, but I will say I want my legacy to be built off of an artist that is coming up with me instead of an artist that's already on. I'd rather, yeah. I'd rather, yeah, I'd rather, from, I'd rather have, I'd rather, I'd rather have a Houston land of Vegas Drake right now mm-hmm. than God's plan Drake. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because that's what built 40. You know what I'm saying? Like, 40 gets the respect because of all of that work. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But name me the producer that produced God's plan. Nah, facts. Facts. You get what I'm saying? 40, 40. You know, 40 is not as popular as Drake, but damn it, as popular as Drake. Yeah, right. but it's like it's just it's but it's you the it's Drake. the longevity yeah, in the yeah, game, you yeah, know what I'm saying? It's yeah. the respect. Like 40 don't have to work with nobody else. Yep, facts. Nobody else. You know what I'm saying? But the niggas that's getting, the new producers that's getting on, they still got to, you know what I'm saying? Go like, through 40. They, they still got to go through 40. They still got to lock nice. in with other artists. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because contractors. God's plan, Drake, outshining you every, all, contractors. all day. Yeah, they contractors. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when you build that sound with an artist, like, like I respect so much of, like, the artists that come, the producers and artists that come up together. And people don't even think about it, like, if you the 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 producers that come in with the artists that you think are goats or that you feel are goats, mm-hmm. them the niggas that to this day, like they names went forever. Like Young Chop, mm-hmm. Young Chop ain't gotta Chief put Keith. out nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But he a he a legend because he came in the game with Chief Keith. Right. You know what I'm saying? DJ Mustard and YG. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like Dr. Dre. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like yeah. Snoop, like, all of it, yeah. This but when you come in with, when you, but you can, you get a placement with a nigga that's on. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna keep the lights on. You feel what I'm saying? But that's gonna, you gonna get out shining. It sounds like every you, day. you, you ahead of it, man. You all, you, so even like since 2012, it sounds like you've been ahead of the whole entire, like this whole, um, you, you, you know, um, you've been ahead of the business part. When it comes to this music business, and yeah, I had I, the ego problem too, though. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And my so my ego, my ego was more so like, was more so like, just not talking or not ex- like, like keeping stuff to myself or not saying how I feel about certain things. Like that was my problem early on. So you you grew up with both parents? Yeah, yeah. You grew my up in church, mom, you said, right? My mom raised me in church. Okay. But my father, he ain't in church. So that's why, I, you know what I'm saying? You got both, you got yeah, balanced. Yeah. So I saw you on IG the other day. You was on live in church playing the drums. You still go mm-hmm. to church, still play the drums. Yeah. Oh, so you a grounded nigga, bro. That's what's up, yeah. bro. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. So you go to church every Sunday? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I swear to God, when I first met, I thought you was a street nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny, bro? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to tell you this. I've been in church. I've been in church since I was born, bro. Like, I've been in church since I was born. And my grandmother used to tell, like, people would be like, like, like older ladies or whatever. Like, they tell my grandmother, oh, you got, you got some, some church boys as grandsons. You know what I'm saying? Like, all men, we all went to church. You know what I'm saying? Like, they like, you got church boys. My grandmother always used to say, these ain't no church boys. They niggas that go to church. <laughs> That's what my grandmother used to tell me. She like, they ain't church boys. They just niggas that go, go to, to church. church. <laughs> Not real shit. Because yeah. like I said, when I first met you, I'm like, oh, this nigga on some street shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga I attitude, just be energy. Chilling. I just you know be what chilling. I'm saying? Nah, but uh, it's beautiful to have, you know what I'm saying? You know Even what it is, though? It's, a, the it's camera, a perception, though. Just, it's... Con- just conversing with you is love. It's all, you know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's love. And, you know, you're doing your thing, bro. Um, I'm not going to lie. Even just sitting down and talking to you right now, learning more about, you know, um, I've got a new respect for you. Because even the, the 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 journey is what I'm talking about. Not the interaction. Yeah. The journey, I feel like you're ahead of your time. I, I, I think it, that, it feels like you're you're planning ahead at all given scenarios. I mean, what you're saying right now, a lot of motherfuckers in the DMV, they're not gonna understand what you when you mentioned Young Chop and Chief Keep, they're not gonna get that. Cause the city we live in, the egotistic environment we live in, and the whole like finesse, the the, the culture here is like, nah, I'm smart and slow. 
But fuck them niggas. That's that's what that's how we think here. Like, nah, I'm I'm ahead of him. I'm, I'm you know, but the way you're thinking, you're looking at the like, nah, I, don't, I ain't even on that. I'm trying to build with you. Well, I'm but, trying to learn but, from everybody. Yeah, everybody but, knows something. That that's what I'm you getting right know. now. Cause when you're saying you want to grow with an artist, not too many artists. If you don't know somebody, if you don't know Dr. Dre, if you don't know Diddy, if you don't know Quincy Jones or whoever, nah, slow saying it. That's our behavior when it comes to artists in the DMV. And I say this, man, like, like. I'm a humble guy. Like I'm, I'm very like, I, you know what I'm saying. I be chilling. You know what I'm saying. Like, it took me a long time to even like, to even believe to a point where I felt okay. My beat's good enough for me to start giving them out. You know what I'm saying. Like, for so, the, that that time span where from me starting uh-huh. to me calling myself a producer, no one had my beats except for maybe. Three people. I didn't give out beats because I just knew I wasn't good enough. Really? Or to me, I just felt like what's up? I felt like it wasn't up to par with what I hear in my oh, head. Oh, you, you did say that earlier. You you told about like you wasn't you were mixing records. You, you gotta sound like an already okay. You, so yeah. you were beating yourself up early. Uh, yeah. yeah. So like I just you know what I'm saying I had to I had to I had to I, I really put work into the craft, but it's like. Now, like if you ask me, there's not an artist on this planet that you can't put me in a room with mm-hmm. and somebody gonna say that's ass. Like I don't this you, that's you, not you, gonna happen. Right now. Yeah, like I, okay. I feel like I'm to the point where like even though I'm still learning, I'm still a student to the game. You know what I'm right, saying? You right, never right. know, you know, everything. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like I'm good enough to the point where like if you put me in a room. And and people people kind of like they don't understand what I'm saying because it ain't even just about me because I'm I'm saying it past that like like I'm a producer so like I said in the beginning you don't even gotta make the beat to produce a song right, right. so you put me in a in a room with Adele I'm I'm you, I'm, yeah, you go, yeah. I'm gonna figure it out yeah. you know what I'm saying I might not make it myself right. I might call my brother who's a, a genius on piano. Right. You know what I'm saying? And tell him to come in and play keys. Right. You know what I'm saying? You call in a band, you get an orchestra. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Like, it's not just about me physically pressing the buttons. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So when yeah, I so- say, you know what I'm saying, you can put me in a room with anybody, I'm talking about anybody. Because right. cool. I'm just going to come together. So like I said, man, I feel like you're ahead of like, you know, um, I wish people, I wish... Artists, not people. Artists just like take a, a, a liking into what you're saying and kind of listen to you more. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I'm hoping some way we have time with our busy schedule. I mean, I'm talking. I'm, I'm inviting you right now on camera. Um, I wouldn't see a school, some type of um, um, union to help artistry here. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's missing. I feel like there's nobody. And that's, I think it's I think it should I think it should go dedicating just to past, artists. So I think it should go past the artists because the artists ain't it's like I said it's it's not it's not the artist's job to do all of these things. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like it's not enough of us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? In this area what? that know what it takes past that. You know what I'm saying? Past the song. But how do we get get the artists to listen to us? what I'm saying. That's a problem. It's going to come with someone being successful from from building what it is we're talking about. Like A person like Wale? What you mean? He's an artist, though. Oh, so, okay, so not an artist. It has to be yeah. somebody who's like in a, an exact so position. Like, yeah, an exact position who... Because there's some, it's some people, you know, that's from here that are in exact positions that, you know... Um, that people will listen to Dre, Dre. You know what I'm saying. So, but it's like, you know, it's not enough. That's it's not enough. You know what I'm saying. Right, like, it's not right. enough of those people. You know what I'm saying. So I feel like we missing the we missing the the executive office in our city. You know what I'm saying. Okay. Like we missing that. And I think that if we get that, um, 
it'll 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 change the game for us. I agree. You know? I feel I like agree. it'll change the game for us, and that I comes agree. with that comes with getting everybody on board, though. Right, you know that's what how, you say radio, that. I'm sitting here thinking, like, who, who, how can you, you know? Saying? It's radio, it's radio DJs. You know, even the marketing people, bro. Like a lot of these marketing people, bro. They they claim they doing marketing X, Y, and Z, bro. They mm, half ass PR. A bunch of females they, around said they're PRs. They and, don't know what they, they doing, they, yeah, bro. Yeah, they don't know what they yeah. doing. You know, like girl females just because they know a nigga, they man, they don't got no game. They don't know what they talking about. They don't really know what they doing. You know, like it's a lot of that shit going on too. You know, so I I feel like um, I feel like it just needs to be, you know, more so, um, you know, good information coming out and people actually doing it. Like I said, they gotta be doing it successfully, and I think that'll attract the artists to like, like if we right now, like, let's just say, I just give you an example, um, you know, we gotta we gotta. We got a marketing company, mm -hmm. you know, and me being a producer, you know what I'm saying? You got the marketing company. I got the record. I bring it to you. It blows. That's going to be a cycle. You know what I'm saying? People going to know, okay, we got to we gotta go fuck with Slopes, not knowing that the reason why my shit blowing is because I'm bringing it to you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, that's what it take. Right. And I feel like that's when it's going to come. That's that's when certain things are going to break because everybody, everybody, like they say, everybody gotta leave. Like they be like, why you gotta leave to do it? They That's don't bullshit. have to, but at the same time, sometimes they do because the shit ain't. They don't know where to go here because so, it's not. It's it's not enough so, examples of it. Right. Okay. That's right. what it is. Well, it's not well, enough okay, examples okay. of it. I'm gonna see your contradict, but you're right. They, they don't. Okay. Okay. You're right. I agree. I agree. Yeah, I agree. It's just not enough examples for them to see. So know? so 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 um. With slow having that much information, I guess you say the legacy, right? What keeps slow going? I, I still want to get out the fact that the people getting to know who you are. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're talking some educational shit right now, but at the same time, um, you're saying these are the, like the, the, the drawbacks in the mm -hmm. area, right? Mm -hmm. What keep you going as a producer to go from like you know making beats to producing to safe house? Now you want to be an, not now you want to be, but you're an exec. I want to sign somebody to your company and take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. With all the information what we just discussed, what keep you going knowing that, yo, I'm in a city where, damn, it's like pulling teeth, man. What keep you going right now? Why are why you still pushing the way you're pushing? Because I see it. What you see? What you I, see? I see. Like, I know, I know, I know it's coming. Like, I know, like, I feel like I was put in a position to, to be that person to show people like it can be done. Like for me, I really wanna, I really wanna, I wanna show the young producers behind me like what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. if I knew what I knew now and I started making beats like in high school or something like that, mm -hmm. like bro, it'd be, it'd be way different. You know what I'm saying? Like I just feel like I feel like a a a young producer with my information mm -hmm. will blow me out of the water. Yeah, I get it. Because you can only get better and you only can learn more. You only can grow. So if you started then, in 10 years, where would you be? You know what I'm saying? But it's more so just not getting comfortable and continuing to learn. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? You got to know we don't know everything. You All know right. what I'm saying? Everybody, and it don't, and it's got to and it's like you need a team, you know what I'm saying? That's that's another thing, like, and that's where I say, you know, a part of my personality and my my, my ego, as you would say, was like I ain't really have people around me, mm -hmm. uh, but it was more so like I'm just, you know, I'm very protective over my energy, so mm -hmm. I like I don't really like, sir, I don't really like a lot of people around me, but you got like I build my team very slow, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like it's very uh, organic, you right. know, like I never, like even the artists I work with, mm -hmm. I've never like pressed nobody to work with me, you know what I'm saying? I and that's why I say I'm blessed. Like I, ain't, I've never, you know, I never pressed any any session, anything. Like 
from being in the studio with Wale, Fat Trill, like it's always been genuine, you know, like just off of the work ethic or somebody inviting me, mm-hmm. you know, like even if I'm just a fly on the wall, like, right. you know, I ain't got to be like, I don't got to be in there actually doing it doing the work like you know what i'm saying just right 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 right. You know opportunity so, to, to be around to see experience. yeah because you learn you could learn somebody you could learn a lot from just a simple conversation being in the room. Yeah. yeah you know so right, 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 uh right. you know i just like yeah i i want to i just want to see it grow and like i said i just want to build a legacy you know what i'm saying that's gonna last here when i'm gone you know so you know i'm just so you got young producers under you no, not right now. Right. And that that's hard too. Like I work with a like I got I don't have anybody under me. I'm saying I work with producers, um, but no one's under me. And that's that's what I'm trying to get to as well. Like I'm trying to, you know. But it's like, like I said, you gotta you gotta want it, bro. Like it's bro. it's it's past just like, cause a lot of this music shit is is a fad. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of it's coming now because, you know, it's just cool to do. You know, they, ain't, they fashion, don't really love it. Show. Yeah, they don't really love it. Fashion so show. it's like... Bragging rights, pretty much. Yeah, and then I got to be very careful because of the artists that I'm in the studio with. Right. I, like, it's, it's the people that you have around is a reflection of you. So, like, I could have... I could I could be find a youngin that want you know make beats or whatever he like 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 slopes I really want you know whole time you got an alternative mo uh, interior motive to just be on some groupy shit you know what I'm saying and then I'm I'm looked at as weird because I got this groupy nigga that's always in this artist's face trying to you know what I'm saying just little trust stuff me, like that me. so it's like you gotta be trust me, I know and I feel like that's about. a that's another I ain't I feel like that's another reason why like you know I'm. I'm cool with so many artists, like even, you know what I'm saying, to the bigger artists, because I treat everybody the same way. Like it's just, you know what I'm saying, it's just be cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like so, niggas be starstruck over like the smallest shit. Like niggas that's just broke as you. Like you be starstruck. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And just be acting weird. Like you mm-hmm. can't be that's 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 one of the biggest things, especially in the studio, where you'll throw a whole session off where a nigga wanna leave. Cause you got the wrong person in the room. Mm-hmm. Yep. Energy. Yeah, like, and I done seen that where Woo! niggas. I done seen that, like, even the even to girls, like certain, I like certain artists, bro. They don't even like girls in their sessions because they throw the energy off. Yeah, distraction. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, uh, um, I was gonna ask you, um. Who's the, one of the big uh, outside of the area? What's um what's one of the biggest artists you work with outside of the DMV? Artists, yeah, mm. you've recorded or produced outside or, the DMV, yeah. That's like not from here. It's not from here. Hmm. It's not from here. Mm-hmm. That I've actually worked with. Yeah. Um. Whether it's recording them, um, I would say. Form, mixing form. I'll say. Hmm. Hmm. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, I done, I done done stuff with. Like I said, I done done stuff with Wale, but he's from here. I done done stuff with Corday. Um. Corday. You know who's dope that I worked with recently? Who? Duke Deuce. He the 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 crump artist like he he signed a QC, he yeah. like uh what the fuck you no, know what I'm like? he do ahead. a lot of the rolling aisles and stuff like that he signed a Q, QC Duke Deuce I worked with him recently okay. um, um I'm trying to think so I think what I'm trying to ask is um you do plan on expanding from the air right yeah yeah I'm already be. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I be on the road with my boy Derek Milano a lot. How, how did y'all meet? Me and Derek, I met Derek years ago before he was ever signed or anything like that. Like, I met him back in, like, 2015, maybe. No, I might have been before that. Like, 2014, 20, like maybe, like, 2015, I met Derek. 
Um, we just got cool, just, you know, like, he was a writer, bro, and I just, like, he always been dope, like, since, since years ago, like, he always been the same way he is now, like, his work ethic, how fast he is when you record, like, creativity-wise, like, that nigga just, he was always like that, mm. like, even as a youngin', he was always like that, so, like, when he was coming up, you know, he would hit me up, you know, and he'd be like, you know, he trying to work, trying to link. And I would just be like, all right, pull up, come right, through. Right, right. We ain't really even know each other. You know what I'm saying? Oh, see, I meant off the fly like that? Yeah, it was on, on some genuine cool shit. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Years ago. And he pulled up on me. Bro, we did like five songs in an hour, hour and a half. We did like five records in like an hour and a half. You know what I'm saying? It just, we just been cool ever since, bro. And that's what I mean by, like, energy and just not doing weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, that's my boy. Like, he done, he done put me in a room with, like, big artists, you know, writers. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done, you know what I'm saying? Executives, you know, like, like it's, he, he definitely done, he definitely done, uh, you know what I'm saying? We, we done done a lot of work together. And, like, it's just never been no weird shit. You know what I'm right, saying? Yeah. He know, like, he know, like, if we go, like, we... Did some shit with A Boogie. Like, he just, he know, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm just going to be on some cool shit. You know, like, I just be chilling, man. Like, most of the time when I go in a the room, they might, they be thinking I'm a rapper. I mean, yeah. Hence why I said Like, when I, when I go in it, when, when I we, first met you, I, I bro, thought you was a street nigga. It goes back to that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, like, I remember, uh, I remember we had, uh, I had, um, and that was my boy Stax, uh, when I had first met Q the Fool, um, I had went to Atlanta when he was signed. When he had got signed, and he was working on his project, and um, at the time, her name Rachel. She was uh, she was uh, one of the head A and R's over there. She uh, she was like, "What you rap?" Like they thought I go into Jones. They was like, "Whole time I'm about to get on a get on a uh, on a computer and engineer." Like they always thought I was a rapper every time I go. I in. see it. I see it. I'm like, nah, I'm just engineering. I'm chilling. But that's, that's, it's just a perception, bro, because, like, I ain't gonna lie. A lot of engineers, they weird. Like, they be weird as shit, bro. Like, it's facts. It's nerdy. It's, it's something off they about, be like, off as fuck, majority bro. engineers, something off about them. Like, they they don't be looking like nothing. Nothing, bro. It's facts. And it's my it. thing is, like, my mom taught me this a long time ago. She was like, people only wanna spend money. With shit that look like money, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could be, you could be, if if we was in a lineup and he was like pick an engineer, and you look like a dirty, you could be the best one. You look dirty, you know. They gonna pick the shitty nigga who look like he getting money, cause the perception is somebody spending money with him cause he right. got money. Like you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So that's more so what it is like. I feel like once you get to a certain point, you need to, like, you know, you got to look the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah, like, yeah. don't nobody want to... I know I don't want to be dealing with... The, you People go to Louis Vuitton because of what it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Respect. So it's like, that's how you got to look at yourself. You know what I'm saying? And that, uh, that, that, that brings me to this. Like, I told somebody... I told somebody this, like, years ago, though. I said, treat my shit like it's Louis Vuitton. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. you not gonna, cause you know a lot of a lot of artists, they'll be like, they'll be like, um, man, I don't really want to work with him. You work with everybody. Mm-hmm. You niggas wear all the same fucking clothes. Mm-hmm. What's the difference? Like all y'all shopping at Louis Vuitton. Mm-hmm. Why all y'all can't work with the same nigga? Right. And that's another thing. Like that's a whole nother conversation. Working with these. This beef shit that's going on. In how the you city? how you um safe house the name safe house you know, um. How do you not pick a side and stand between the chaos when you want to? Because safe house you got uh, it. is 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 to me um based on the name it's an open space for everybody. So you go you say side A got beef with side B, but they both have a safe house to go to. How do you manage that? How how can someone come to you and feel they're safe to come to your facility knowing they have? Well, I deal with that. I deal with that 
now. So it's, it's how do you like, manage that? For those who, more so, who want to come work with you, um, you know, what what's your word to them? Like, yo, you know, you're safe here. Well, for the for you know, it's just for me. Uh, my reputation speaks for itself. You know, I don't, I don't get in the shit. I don't people's people's beef. That when you come in my come in my establishment, your beef is outside. You don't got nothing to do with what we got going on, and I don't have nothing to do with what you got going on. I'm not your homie. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, we cool. Like I'm, I I'm like, this is this is business at the end of the day. Like we're cool, mm -hmm. but when it comes to the beef shit, like I I I look at it like. I look at it like I don't go to your family reunion. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like, so you've been saying this like a, a lot of conversations. How do you get to these motherfuckers like that, bro? Because what what you mean? Like you tell a nigga that, but it's still being some dumb shit. I mean, it's like I feel like I feel like it's more so. Um. You just gotta you you gotta be a man, bro. Like, if I tell you, like, people know, like, everybody everybody works with slopes. I don't care if you two niggas is beefing. Mm -hmm. Like, you yeah, I'm working with him and I'm working with you. It got nothing to do with me. It got nothing to do with me. Don't and even, if you don't tell me to pick a side, don't come to me no more. Okay, that's the, that's what, that's what I'm talking about. That's it right there. Yeah, like. Oh, so that's okay. Yeah. If you tell if you if you telling me like nah bro we need you to pick a side, you good. Slope, All right, slope good. we don't. I'm not picking a side, so you don't gotta come. I don't. You don't. I don't gotta work with you. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't that deep to me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like you safe here with me. Like you, we good. You know what I'm saying? Like your beef. I'm aware of your beef, but it don't got nothing to do with me. So like I wanna I wanna know like for me like. I want to know who you beefing with only because I want to make sure that y'all don't cross paths right. during, in, in my space. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like, if you beefing hard with somebody and you don't, and you know that I work with them, let me know that. You know what I'm saying? Cause right. then that way I know like I can never go on live with you while you here. You know what I'm saying? Like certain things like that. And then I know like, I always tell people no matter what, like don't post that we in here until you leave. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, because loca you didn't give them your location. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? This ain't no, I'm not no, you know, I'm I'm building this for everybody to know, you know what I'm saying, what what's going on, where I'm at. So if you are, but but you know what? And the reason why I really, like, I don't really, I don't really have no cut calls with that is because I watch all these niggas when they go out of town, they all want to go to them big studios. Mm -hmm. Even if even if the nigga the nigga you beefing with hard went there, you, you still you gonna want to go there yeah. because of the hype. You know right. what I'm saying? Like, right. so you not telling me that you don't want to work here because that nigga don't. You know what I'm saying? Because all y'all shop at the same mall. Yep. You do. You're not, go you're not Louis going to the yep. Louis, you're not going to the Louis store and telling them. Yeah, bro, I don't want y'all selling clothes to him. <laughs> like, you're not doing that. So you're not going to do it to me. Right, not right. that I don't want you to. You're not going to do, do it. Because right. I, I don't hear that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You can go somewhere. You can work with some, I'll refer to you, refer you to someone else. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just not me. Like, I don't, I don't get into that. I don't have no beef with nobody. You know what I'm saying? So I, I live that way for a certain reason. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I'm not dealing with... If I don't got beef myself, I ain't trying to deal with. Why the hell would I want to deal mm, with yours? Mm, preach. You know what I'm saying? Tell a lot of time, man. I'm not with you. I'm with everybody. That's how I am. That's my lingo right there. I'm yeah, and if you, you got a problem, with, if you got a problem with it, you know. And I'm very, I'm selective, you know. Like, definitely, if you want some dumb shit, I ain't trying to work with you anyway. Right. Like, if you the type of nigga that just wanna be looking for trouble, I ain't, I ain't trying to deal with that. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, you want some studio time. Cool, but nah, like I ain't even trying to be, you know, on. I ain't even trying to build a relationship with you for real. You know what I'm saying? Cause you're not really trying to go where I'm trying to go if you doing shit like that. Right, right, right. So, um, uh, producing, beat making, 
uh, how do you go about? Do you sell your beats or is it some, is a thing yeah. where you sell them? Well, like yeah, so um, you know, I, uh, uh, you can you know you can lease or you can do exclusive. Mm-hmm. You know, I never sell my rights to no artist to no label. I never sell my rights. You own every single beat you ever made. Made your own. You own it. Like I still own my publishing. Okay, I've oh, never 100%. sold. I've never sold my publishing to no artist. That's what I'm saying. You're ahead of the game. You know what I'm saying? I ain't doing that. You're ahead. Where, you where, ima- where? Imagine you, imagine you, I know. you Old I Town know. Road and you sold. I know. Yeah, you know, like the, the producer who got that, you know, he signed to, he signed to another producer. The wait, pro- wait, 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 what you the mean? The producer who signed, who made the, whole the tour, beat to, uh, the beat to Old Town Road, uh-huh. he a younger from, uh, he from like, over, he from another country or whatever. And he signed to another producer mm-hmm. um, when he was worth, that song is worth way more. He signed to another producer. So yeah. that producer owns the record. Some of the publishing to that. Wow. No, he's punching himself right now. He ain't punching himself, but it's just like, you know, every situation is different with everybody. You know, it's just, you know, it is what it is. Certain people, they just don't really know. They don't really, they, it's, it, I feel like people be afraid to, afraid to speak up, do things on their own. But so, so, okay, I I agree with you. In, in, in the same sentence, I disagree with you. Because I feel like we all need each other. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right? So, in, in your perspective, though, when you say do things on your own, what exactly do you mean? I'm talking about in terms of um, groundwork. Like, uh, okay, okay. You might, you might sign, you might, you might sign to someone and give them more than what you, like, that goes back to the marketing situation mm-hmm. where you could have paid you could have put put that money that you was getting towards a marketing team mm-hmm. and built what you trying to get from them on your own like if it's a situation where like you got to think like what is it so it's it's never like when i say on your own i ain't talking about like solely doing anything by yourself okay. i'm just talking about giving someone else you know giving someone else power over your work when you could have, you know, like, how can I, I give you a better example. People are paying, like, certain, certain agencies to do, like, for work. yeah, like, do certain things, so you might, you then this goes to those bullshit PRs, right? Mm-hmm. You got some of these PRs that'll tell you, all right, you give me this, and I'm gonna get you X, Y, and Z. You know what I'm saying? Yes, okay. Yeah. But when you could have just paid X, Y, and Z yourself. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Shortcuts. Just exactly. Trying People to trying short- to do shortcuts. Get, no, you know yeah, what I'm saying? It, yeah, Instead of building, because then you're not even building that relationship you could have had with those entities. You know what I'm saying? The the person who, you know, sending them an email, you could have sent the same one. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ground, leg work. Like I said, you, you're scared to do the work yourself, so you pay somebody. Yeah, and that's what I mean by on your own. Like, okay. you can still have a team. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Always. It's, I don't, I honestly, like, I study the greats. Like, there's. I can tell. There's no album that you consider a classic that doesn't have more than five people names on every single song. Facts. Thanks. Name the biggest album. I know. No, no, I know. Name, just name one. They, they may not know this, especially the, the, the music culture. They, they may not know. I know this. Yeah, just name. Like, you can just think yeah. about the biggest album you can think of in, in the world. Just think of any of them. That goes back to the conversation when they're saying Drake, niggas write for Drake. Niggas don't write for Drake. They make music together. Right. So even if even if a nigga wrote right you a, a line bar or two, or, or told even a six, you to say even this 16, like this, even a sixteen, bro, it doesn't matter. Is it, yeah. like did think about yeah. think about the final product it's because I put it to you like this: if if somebody wrote down on wrote down the you know the blueprint 
to mm-hmm. how to do this. And it said you need three writers in order for this to be one of the biggest albums in the world. Mm-hmm. You're not going to say, nah, I'm writing my own shit. When, if you know for a fact, like, this is how you do it. But a lot of us are ignorant that. to it. We're ignorant to it. Yeah, they're not going to. No, it's, it's just, it's, yeah, it's ignorance. Yeah. It's ignorance yeah, and yeah. it's like you definitely would do it too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you know what it what it comes from that, you definitely would do it too. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, man, you should you go look at go look at Michael Jackson Thriller and look how many people names is on involved, them songs. Involved with those records. It's, it's mind blowing, right? Yeah, it's but that's 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 what it takes to that's build. That's what it takes yeah, to yeah. build. Like you gotta have a team, bro. Like I don't wanna be I don't wanna be making beats by myself for the rest of my life. That's dumb. So you got a team right now, or you, you, you just moving solo? No, I got a team. Okay, you know what I'm I got a team. That's good. And that's just like you know, <clears throat> and 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 as far as like and then even with the team, like you know what I'm saying. Sometimes shit don't work out with everybody. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying. Like, but that you gotta you gotta keep it moving. You know what I'm saying. You gotta keep it moving. Like find those pieces that you need, man, and stick with those pieces. You know what I'm saying. And make sure it's genuine people. That's really Ooh, like that shit is hard, but yeah, genuine people, bro. It's like, hard to come across, man, mm. especially here, um, bro. I had like I was man. That's a whole nother conversation, bro. Yeah. Like I just like I said, just finding genuine people, bro. Because like it's certain people that will like hold. It's certain people that will hold relationships for themselves hmm. because they think that, you know, you going to leave them in the dust or, you know, people that's just a lot selfish. Of, that's a lot of insecurity, a, though. Yeah, it's a lot of insecurity, and you're not... Like, a nigga like me, I'm okay with telling you who, what, and how to do shit because, like, you, I'm I'm just like you, bro. I'm very cocky and very my ass, so if I have an idea, you can't do it like I'm going to do it. That's the first That's the first thing that goes through my mind. So I'll tell you, I don't give a fuck. You can't, you still can't do it like me. Right. And I'm, I'm, furthermore, I'm thinking you can do it better than me. And I'm not trying to, like, compete. I'm just saying, like, I'm good. Yeah. Furthermore, if you do it and you succeed, I sleep good at night, bro. Like, you you succeeding actually makes me happy. Yeah. And I'm, not, I'm dead serious. Yeah. If I tell you some shit and you go do it, mm-hmm. and I see you accomplish it, I look like, oh, I'm gonna be more, I'm I'm gonna be like pressed to say, you know what? I told Slopes to do it, he did it. That's I'm gonna be smiling yeah. with myself. Yeah, man. That's but, a win for you. You know what I'm saying? Like I it's it's no one, it's no one that's been around me. And that's why I'm like so passionate about it. Like it's no one that's ever been around me where I was hesitant to let them, you know, either be a fly on the wall. Mm-hmm. Or to even give them a relationship that I have, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's nobody around me that I've ever held that from them. But people will do that to me, though. It's a DMV, though. You know what I'm it, saying? Well, not just a DMV. I mean, it's everywhere, but it's heavy. Like, it's deep. It's deep here. I, I mean, I feel like if you don't like, why are you around if you don't trust the person with that anyway? Yeah, I know, you know what man. I'm saying? Like. It like is I, what it is, though. Like I said to you, man, these are conversations where I'm trying to shy away from because it's so dark and it's so sad because I feel like we could have been so far as a community and we're not. And the reason being is, is stuff like this, you know. But I, I think we're getting, not I think I know, we're getting smaller. So everyone that you know, I know. Yeah. So what's the conversation now? Yeah. Yeah, because like it's, it's I, I and I'm I'm seeing that too, bro, because it's like, I see that, you know, it's a lot of, it's it's getting to a point where like, the, the the connection is just like certain people, like this just it's right there. It's like a reach away. You know Text, what I'm saying? DM like, this it's is, like everything. certain people that I thought I would never meet, bro. Like, and I just genuinely met, just continuing to work, and somebody I know, know mm-hmm. you know, stuff like mm-hmm. that, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like it's the the world is. If you really doing what you supposed to be doing, this industry is small. Mm-hmm. It's very small. Like if you really, if you really in it and you really Slows. doing you work, you say you travel. I travel. I, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I've traveled. Um, uh, Cali. I was in Cali when COVID first. I was in Cali. I, I think I was in Cali like almost like probably two, three times a year, whatever. And um, maybe I'm exaggerating, but you get the point. I was in Cali a lot, right? Is it done? 
It did? Mm. Yeah. Uh, I was in Cali a lot, right? And I'm telling you, there's people from the DMV. Nigga, I was in Cali one, one given time. And there's an artist out in Cali who's from the DMV who was doing a music video. And I, you know, I, I pull up. It's simple as that. I pull up. There's other fellow DMV artists who was in Cali. I'm like, you out here? I've like, been here for a year. Mm -hmm. You know? But what I'm trying to say is that this shit is so small. Like, everybody know, every, no matter where you go, it's, it's, yeah. you, just, you just, you know what I'm saying? But me being who I am as a person, I've been had that mentality before, you know? I, it's just the area we, we live in. We don't, we don't get that. It's like... But now I'm sitting down having this one-on-one -on -one conversation with you. I feel like we share a lot of, like, similar, like, take when it comes to, like, music and just like the outlook yeah like your story is is, is is not the same as my story but i would say you and i share a similar view or vision yeah because now i'm like i 2012 beat making producing and i keep on reiterating this i'm like i haven't heard you mention a partner aside from you know i guess lady or sister you were dealing with that you at Actually, the says you know, like I guess sound like an assistant, mm -hmm. but I haven't heard you say, "Yo, me, my partner, or whatnot." So it sounds like you know, you were like 2012 beat making, three years at a producing, seventeen. Yeah, safe I didn't get. House, I didn't get by, with my, by yourself. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't start. I didn't have a. I didn't have an assistant until like, cause she ended up being my manager. Like I talked. Like I'm like, because it's more so like for me it was like. Uh, a manager just manages your, you know what I'm saying, manages what you got going on. Right. So it's always like, you know what I'm saying, it's like, you know what I'm saying, it's like, uh, you don't really got to, people think that, you know, your your manager got to know all of these crazy people and stuff like that. Like, y'all build that together, you know what I'm saying? Like, an artist, an artist and, and your manager, like, y'all can be coming up together. It's really just on trust. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, because your manager really supposed to help you. Y'all get that team together. Like, right. people got to learn, like, everybody got a job. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, everybody ain't supposed to be doing everything. You know what I'm saying? When you build a team and you got you got marketing, you know what I'm saying? Your, your marketing manager and your PR, them two different types of people. That's not mm -hmm. the same person. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, people got to, it's, it's, it's a lot as far as, like, you know, it's a lot for everybody to do. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Everybody got a, everybody has a place in it. Everybody got a job. But like, I didn't have, I didn't have a manager. Well, my brother was my manager at first. Oh, you, who, oh really? Yeah, he was my manager at first because he was good at, at talking to people. I is wasn't. That how, is that how I met you? I wasn't good at talking to people. He was. How did I? When I came here? Yeah. I don't even know to be honest with you. That's crazy. Uh, That's crazy. But um, I think it was. Well, I don't know. I don't. Remember. I, I can't even remember. It. I can't remember. That's crazy. I can't. But remember. I didn't know Touch used to um used to manage you. Yeah, it was like it was for a short period of time though. Okay. You know, okay. you know, bro, don't really be. You know what he be on. Yeah, I know. I know. So it's I like know. that's so when you told me so your brother, like I was music, like, wait. So the music, the music thing, like that really wasn't his. When you told me that's your brother, I had to fire, bro. I had saw, to fire. You saw my reaction. I was like, what? Yeah, I had to fire, my bro. He was now when it came to when he started his entertainment company though, and he was managing the girls. He was he was that's like his skill. that's his thing. Skill. Yeah, that's skill. his thing. Like he blessed with that. You know what I'm saying? But him, I ain't get a manager. Like I didn't have outside of him. Um, she didn't start. We didn't. We didn't start until like 2017, like 2017. You know what I'm saying? And then, yeah, till last year. I see it. I slopes. I see it, man. I, I see the the big picture. I see it, and like you said, it's coming. And you're gonna get it soon. No, for sure. Soon. If not, I I, I strongly I believe the higher possibility is this year. Um, you know, I hope you get the artists, you know, you, you know, you deserve, um, you know. I'm more know. focused than ever and, this year. And let me say this to you, um, because I feel like even for me, people don't say to me, like, thank you. When I say thank you, I'm not talking that like, you haven't done nothing for me. You've done something for us. It's a lot of artists you work with, um, you know, you know, uh, producing, engineering, 
Um, I'm 100 percent sure if I had to name five or oh, four or three whatever DMV artists that's my favorite, I'm 100 percent sure we work with them. So your contribution, thank you. Your contribution is what um, is helping me, you know, having this podcast, helping me run the studio, helping me getting the knowledge that you know that I'm you know building. You feel me? So I want to thank you. You I know, you, so. I don't well, know thank what you the for pe- this, man. Eh? Like, this is dope. Like I told you, man. Like, this thank is you. needed. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. But without you, it's not possible. You know what I'm saying? So let's, let's you know, and, and I ain't trying it's, to be like. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a given, you know, it's one a hand take clap. thing. Yeah, because like I tell people, bro, it's like, like everybody, you know what I'm saying, that's ever been, you know what I'm saying, a, a part of what I got going on, I always tell them, like, use me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you can't use me, I'm useless. You feel me? So it's like I never felt, I never, I never fe- was in a position where I felt like, you know, um, oh, this person ain't this like you, you don't you using me or something. No, I never no, really no, felt no, like no. that because it's like if you using me, I I must be doing something. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing now. When it gets to a point where I can't use you either, that's when it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like. We should be able to use one another. So, like, that word, like, when people say you be, u- like, you using or uh, stuff like that, like, if somebody can't use you, what are you doing? You're no good. You ain't no good. But yeah. the, what, what, as long as it's a reciprocal thing. So, as long as, Balance. The, as long as you can use that person and they can use you, that's what you're doing. That's the relationship. Like, that's, you know what I'm saying? Y'all doing something good. You know what I'm saying? But when it becomes one-sided, that's when it's a problem. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, Yeah, man, love, man. We're not going to sit here and just keep talking. Cause we, I can sit here all night with you and talk and keep on talking. So, no, nah, for sure, um, Whatever. When you when you sign your new artist, you know, circle back. If you got something new, you know, hit me up. You know, you know what? You got to... Um, I know I've been to your spot. I, I can't even recall when. I think I think who? No Feast had a listening party? Or Mo? Was it Young Mo? Or No Feast? I don't know who was. But I came to your spot, I think, one time for an mm-hmm. event. Mm-hmm. But I never been to your spot on some like you gotta you gotta have me out there one day. I gotta come. Well, out. we building. I'm building. A, I'm building a new jump, so you gotta come check it out. It's almost okay. finished. It's almost so, finished. Yeah. So I'm gonna wait on that. So whenever it's done, I'm, I'm you'll pretty be one sure of the got... first people. I'm gonna have a like, grand appreciate opening jump. Appreciate it. Yeah, appreciate definitely. It. It's going. Um, you know, it's it's coming, it's coming along. You know what I'm saying? I'm very proud of it. We're building that jump from the ground up. Congrats. So, you capturing the process? Yeah. Okay. Cool, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. And I, I, my, my, my girl got me doing that because I ain't good at that content thing. But she been, she was all like since the beginning. She like make sure you get every single every time they doing something. Make sure you do it. Blah blah. Right. That's why I asked you too. I don't, I don't see you in that light. That's why I asked. Yeah. I, don't, I, 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 I'm trying to get like more, like when it come to content, doing it myself. Cause like I'm so like used to like having a cameraman or something like that, so like now I'm you know then you gotta go with the way go go with the new social media things making the reels. That's real. That's what that. that's what we are right so now. I've been practicing trying to make them reels and stuff. <laughs> you feel awkward as shit, don't you? It's like editing the video. Yeah. On your phone, it's yeah, a lot yeah. of work. <laughs> yeah, it feels awkward. I'm doing it's it a now. Lot of so. Work. But yeah, man, thank you, thank you. And if people want to find you, I mean, of course, you know, we're going to put your tag in here, but I'm um, telling your gram, you know, how to reach out to you. At Big Slopes with the Alley You, man, you can follow the studio page, official Safe House Studios. Our old page got hacked, but we, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, um, follow me, like I said, Big Slopes with the Alley You. Um, yeah, man, this is like, shout out my boy Prezi, man, this shit lit. Appreciate you, man. Love, man. On that note, we out.